Well, Randy, I think it's time for another Laugh Tracks road trip. What do you think? It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan. And that classic line comes courtesy of a comedy skit that turned into hit albums, hit movies, and an internationally touring blues music powerhouse. In case you haven't guessed, Steve is talking about Jake Blues and Elwood Blues, the musical alter egos of John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, better known as the Blues Brothers. The characters debuted in 1978 as part of a Saturday Night Live cold open, but before that, the concept was coming together with a bit of serendipitous help. Now, just a year earlier, Dan Aykroyd was such a blues maniac, he bought a blues bar to hang out in after SNL episodes. John Belushi was busy filming Animal House in Eugene, Oregon, and here's where Providence came in. Belushi would hang out in local bars at night, and there he came across Curtis Salgado, a young powerhouse blues singer, and the two became fast friends. Curtis taught John how to move on stage, and also some alternative naughty lyrics to blues standards. Here's a good example. The Blues Brothers' take on Willie Maybond's I Don't Know. Woman, you wanna walk a mile for a camel? Are you going to make like Mr. Chesterfield and satisfy me? But she said, she said, that all depends on what you're packing. Regular or king size. With their SNL skit of Smash, offers poured in for a concert tour, and the boys obliged, forming an all-star band including Paul Schaefer from SNL and Steve Cropper and Duck Dunn from Booker T and the MGs. And of course, a movie followed in 1980, and it was full of the highly quotable lines we mentioned at the top. Here's some of the best. They're not going to catch us. We're on a mission from God. Are you the police? No, ma'am. We're musicians. Uh, what kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. Our Lady of Blessed Acceleration, don't fail me now. John Belushi's tragic death in 1982 appeared to bring an end to the Blues Brothers, but Dan Aykroyd eventually decided to put the band back together with rotating guest singers including John's brother Jim Belushi and John Goodman. The audience response was strong, leading to a sequel of sorts, Blues Brothers 2000, with John Goodman taking the Belushi role and a host of superb cameos by blues giants. With licensed tribute bands active around the world, an Aykroyd-hosted weekly radio show called Elwood's Bluesmobile, and occasional reunion concerts, the Blues Brothers show no sign of hanging up their shades anytime soon. And why should they? After all... For me and the Lord, we got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. You can find out more about the Blues Brothers and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts, at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.